Welcome to Let's Automate Space Engineers. In this series, we're not just surviving, we're thriving through the power of automation. We start with nothing but a basic rover and our wits on a planet that's both beautiful and hostile. Our mission to transfer... Come on, man, we only just started recording the intro. Why, why'd you have to go mess it up now? Transfer. No, no, not transfer. To transform this barren world into a fully automated utopia. Our journey begins with the basics, manual mining and crafting, but soon we'll build a base that runs itself. From automated mining rigs to self-sustaining power systems, just imagine a world where every resource is automatically harvested, refined and stored. Where defences are automated and our base grows without us lifting a finger. That is the dream. And together we're going to make it a reality. But it won't be easy. We'll face challenges from hostile environments and even more hostile factions. We'll need to innovate, adapt, and sometimes just survive. Are you ready to join me on this epic quest? Then let's get started. Oh, uh, <laughs> tuber. Uh. Now, where, where, where did I leave them? Where, where are they? Where, where'd everyone go? Oh, there you are. Hey, welcome. This is Let's Automate Space Engineers. Oi, nah, oi, you're supposed to stay on the camera while I'm recording you. Right, if you haven't figured it out already, I am the cameraman and editor for Shum in these videos. And at this point, he went on to try and explain exactly what it was he was going to do. No. Sorry, he didn't explain it. He skipped it and went straight on to trying to talk about some mods that he installed. He also went on to butcher it so badly that it's not even usable audio for me to put in here. So we're going to have to do that again. A few moments later. All right, today's mission is to start from scratch with nothing but our rover. And by the end of the episode, we're going to have ourselves a starter base with an automatic drill rig so we don't have to manually mine anymore. Our first task is to gather essential resources and we got lucky landing right on a dense iron node. Now why is there dense iron in our world? Well that brings me to the next point. Uh, let's go ahead and get going with that. So we're going to start back. Oh, it's a little close to the connector. We want to be close to the connector but not that close. So to get stone, number one thing I would do is I would recommend that you dig below the dirt layer. So we'll turn our light on. All right, this is, you can see the clear difference here. So there's dirt, this is stone. If you dig dirt, that's 118 stone for one chunk of dirt if you dig stone that is oh, i can't do quick math but closer to 500 and something closer to 600 stone from one from the same amount of time drilling so if you're going for stone more efficient get below the earth layer before you start digging for it i'm gonna go ahead and fill up our cargo containers and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit.
now come on man what did you honestly think i was gonna do when you put the notes in that said make it sound like a supercar it's an electric vehicle that's not what it sounds like Right, as epic as it would have looked if we were able to pull off driving and searching for Cobalt in the dark, I've been told that I have to read this word for word from the script. I am geographically challenged and that would be a big mistake. So, here we are in the daytime. Uh, let's get going and uh, I'll see you over the other side. Right, so we've got a bunch of cobalt smelted and continuing to smelt. Uh, while we're doing that, we are going to go ahead and get working on our inquiry base. What we're going to do is we're going to come all the way over here. Why? Because... It means that we don't have to worry about can't see me I'm just stop so we're gonna build all the way over here so we don't have to worry about getting in the way of the drill that we're going to be setting up pretty much right where our rover is Now the reason why we stopped where we stopped is it was right on top of a cobalt node and unfortunately the footage that I made for you know going down and mining it was so long that it got corrupted and it's not here. But we have mined up all the cobalt that we need, we're going to run off in the distance and put down our temporary base um, and then we can get going on our jewelry. Okay, with our temporary base set up, we can now go ahead and start making our drill rig. Now, I have built this in our test world and we are building the blueprint here. Um, but if you're interested in exactly how we set up an automated drill rig, let me know and we will get a tutorial on how to set it up. Um, the bare bones layout of it so that you can build one yourself. Alright, this whole episode has been a whole bunch of time trying to get to this one 
point. Why? So that we don't have to worry about resources. For pretty much the next three episodes, we can just focus on building our automation nation. But, you know, it's it's been a lot of time, and it's all come down to this, this one moment. Enjoy. Right, it has been a long time working on this, so I'm going to leave you with a nice time lapse of the drill rig digging down, and I will catch you next time on our next episode of Let's Automate Space Engineers. Until then, stay safe, look after yourself, and peace guys. This episode took four weeks of sleepless nights, over four bottles of vape juice, with constant updates and brainstorming, with eight supportive friends and family members who have seen so many versions they might be sick of it. It involved four terabytes of raw footage from six different attempts, over 120 hours of editing and sound design, and more and 30 hours of rendering. If you've made it this far, please like, 